Right, hi guys, it's Natalie here. Um, I just want to talk, just talk, um, just about everything that's gone on so far. Uh, as you can see, probably from my either social media, I posted it on uh, the Instagram, Nutty Natty B, and I've posted it on my Twitter, Natalie underscore 17, myself, Barmy Army, must. Man United Supporters Trust, that is the, the largest supporters trust, it's independent, it liaises with the club regularly, we're all linking together. Uh, the Barmy Army will remain independent of most, but I think for the Barmy Army is going to remain independent, period. Um, and that's through talking to people at the FSA and it just really talking to most, talking to everyone. Um, because what I want to do, what the Barmy Army want to do, and must want to help us do this. You know, we want to be the biggest and the best fans in the country. And, and whether we can do that, whether it could be in the, the you know, just here under, under 16, 17 months old, you know. But that's that's the aim. We want to be the best. This badge is about winning. Um, You know, this is the 99 treble shirt. It's about winning, and that's, that's Man United. <laughs> Uh, the men aren't doing great so far and the women are the shining light of the team and whether you want to that's that's the deal that's that's how it is so we want to be that and must want to help us get there and they'll definitely help us a lot with growing what we're doing help us get links within the club help us know more people help us move forward with creating maybe a little singing section where it's reds just singing together home and away you know that's what we want you know, make things easier in terms of people getting accessibility to not only Lee, maybe getting a bus, getting something that's going to make it easier for fans to get from Manchester to Lee. That's, that's, that has been put to the club. The club are aware of that and must are aware of that. We know we need to do things about that. Casey's even talked about it in articles. We know we need to do things about that. Um, but we need that. But what we need as well is making it more accessible for fans to go away and making it easy for you to get your ticket and be with all the fans together singing and that's just what we want we want to create an atmosphere for those girls so when they go out there they know that we're behind them 90 minutes they know it anyway but it just makes it easier for us and them and everyone um these are the things that we're working on you know could take a day could take months but that's what we want to do and you know that's an announcement i've released a statement's up it's on the Moss website there's a statement on barmy army as well um, I've said a little bit as well. But what I want to talk about is our club and people making statements about it that really aren't correct. People, uh, after the derby, statement was put out by, I can't even remember, but Twitter, they're quite a big um, football girls football I can't remember who it was but it was sort of because I was in the half of a mix of it it was an argument it was this I sort of started it then I backed out and other people joined in but one of the statements that left us was um Man United as in the men's team do not care about the women's team and you know maybe if you look on Twitter and if you look on social media you think last year they didn't tweet so you could think that and I see why people would say that um, took them so long to get this women's team up and going again you know they disbanded it they started it again you know so why why do they care now and obviously you know social media they know we know it could all be a lot better but don't judge it on what you're seeing on the outside and what they've done in the past I know it's hard not to but just know that everyone in that club works as a club there's not two separate teams there's not a women's team ticket operator there's not a women's team social media manager the social media manager works across both the ticketing officer yeah, everyone knows him sam keller works across both um the finance works across both um everyone i've walked into old trafford and you know i've chelsea i had vip lucky me but i walked in and i saw he's called john John, and I thought, oh, he's here. You walk into Carrington, you see people that you know from the women's game. People were coming up to me when I walked into Old Trafford. Oh, Natalie, yeah, oh, 
what's the problem behind me? It's because they do both jobs. They do it all across, you know. Um, and that's what you need to to know. For me, that shows that how much they care. It's the same people doing the same job. It makes it easier for fans. It makes it easier for players. So when Casey and Shivy are coming out saying this is the most integrated club that I've ever seen, that's what they mean. Because it's not as if they're pushed off to the side, as they have to deal with other people and the real people. And then the women's team have to go to the men's team and ask for money. No, you just go to the, the man and say, this is what I need for my team. The way that Ollie does it, that's how she has to do it. She does it the same way that Ollie does it. Um, so there's no different. Casey even said, I sat in Ollie's office for about half an hour, two hours, discussing everything from family to this to that to how she works, how he works. And that's good. That's what you want. You want that interaction between the two. You know, I'd love to see more content and I'd love to see more people able to get involved. But for me, if like little independent news, radio, whatever, I'm a little independent just doing this and I know that they're never going to let me in. And I think that stems from them having views about it as a men's team and it's different in the women's game and they're learning slowly and I think we're all learning that not always national newspapers are going to be interested in in Man United, I mean, majority of the time they will be, but there's there's been times and they've had it themselves where they've done a conference with Casey and two people turned up. Um, and that's because the national newspapers have to go somewhere else. And whether that was scheduling or this, that and the other. So, so they do need to learn. But if this was any other team, maybe they wouldn't be as harsh. But because they see this badge, they see all the money, they see this. But trust me... <laughs> Dealing with Man United and ticketing and issues in the men's game, we're going to have exactly the same issues in the women's game because it's the same people doing it. And that's it. So to say that the Man United do not care about Man United women is totally false because, to be fair, it's one club. Everyone does everything. There's not even been recruitment on the women's side because they can do both. It's just not uh, an issue. Um... So to say that, I don't know. I had a meeting and I thought, you know what? There's a lot of good things going on with the Barmy Army. And the, uh, she was called Deborah from the FSA. She said, you should tell it. But I don't like to tell things because I don't want to blow my own trumpet. That's not the kind of person that I am. I don't let other people say it. And it's not about my trumpet now. It's about people, how the Army Army has made them feel and what they think about it and I know people think oh we're all just just men's fans coming from the women's game but it's it's far from the truth it's far from the truth I know people think it's not family friendly I wouldn't want to take my kids there look at them they're all doing that that's far from the truth as well I've had three a mother of three approach me today her little kids I'm sure she won't mind because you know she posted it on Twitter their names but you know it was Evie Ruby and Holly and we're going to take pictures because apparently they adore me. I've got other little kids in Birmingham who, who I'm going to see, you know, saying <laughs> they can't wait to see me. I've got Anthony's little kids, I'm sure you don't mind because we posted pictures up, but um, Declan and Tyler, they were standing on the back row with us. So it is that family friendly. Got little kids coming on the bus to Birmingham with us, Robin and Charlie. Robin was a as a mascot. And when she came out, we started singing Robin's Barmy Army. And her face was a picture. But obviously people, I feel like people don't want to hear this. But I'll just say a few things that, yes, there were people who came from the men's game. I was someone who came from the men's game. Never really watched women's football. Didn't do anything. But obviously I'm going to support United. So I went to a fair few games. I didn't really like it. I liked the football on the pitch. No issues. You know, United won in 12-0. <laughs> who doesn't like that so the football on the pitch was great but what was going on in the stands I didn't really understand why would you sit down when someone scores why wouldn't you cheer why wouldn't you be singing constantly and someone said that has enabled them to to not see it as women's football is like this and men's football is like this it's just football but that's what we want and that's what our club always promote that's what Casey says we come from Old Trafford and we do exactly the same thing and this is we have transferred over a lot of us 
but that's not all we are because you know people have come who've, who they and she and people have told me you know it's it's an element of creating a match day experience you know they used to just come into lee and then drive off but now they they hang out they come before meet up with all their friends chat and have a laugh um singing throughout the game talking about the game as it going on um and then away days are a big part you know people feel like now it's a bus journey it's not just about the game the game is great but the game's the middle part and for me of watching them that's what it's always been away days are absolutely buzzing and they just feel like we've been open friendly welcome anyone there's no hate you know people used to hate meeting groups of people but this instance joining the Barmy Army or coming and standing with us and travelling to away games, they feel more confident. Um, you know, people saying they've made it a fan experience like nothing else. We've been inclusive, welcoming, offering support with travel, offering support with, you know, because I would always pick someone up if they couldn't get to late and drive them in my car, and I've always done it. You know, supporting the players with the flags, the badges, all the merchandise, really promoting the club. It feels like it's improved the experience and they feel like, not just like normal fans, like, you know, they're like when Katie does say the 12th man, they feel like they are that 12th player. And you can see the players respond when 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 we're singing the name. I'm not saying that just doesn't happen, happen to other teams, I'm sure it does, but when you see it and when you see it happen, for example, the way I the game I think about and I've seen it happen was Everton and we were sh- and uh, Gabby George had the ball and Kirsty Hansen and we were shouting presser Kirsty presser and she pressed her into panicking. Lauren got the ball, bang one nil, and I just think that's what it felt like. It felt like it was, you know, a group of fans having a laugh, enjoying United and pushing them girls on to win. I don't know, you know, these are stories that you might think, oh, this happens everywhere. Great. I'm glad that it's happening at your club too. But to sort of say, oh, they're this, they're that, this is what happens, they're all aggressive, it's just not true. And I just don't understand where this is all coming from. Maybe it's because United have just jumped onto the scene late. Okay, I don't like it either, but it is what it is. Um... You know, someone's come out today even going, oh, it's a victim mentality from the players to the this, to the that, to the fans, to the gaffer. Listen, Casey even said it. She's passionate. She puts them pas- that passion onto her players. So when you see our players kicking off, it's and when you see Casey kicking a water bottle, it's not that we're trying to cheat, that we're trying to do this, that we're trying to do anything. It's just the passion of the game coming out. And when you see us screaming <laughs> at referees, it's not because we're this and we're that and we're trying to say he's this or that. It's just the passion of the game coming out. I couldn't imagine ever support watching a team any other way. And because I was encouraged to show my passion. From Rachel Brown Finnis, that's, you know, an England legend. She said to me, don't ever stop. If this is how you want to support your team, you do it. Trust me, it gives me them extra 10%. When you hear when you hear someone singing your name, it gives an extra 10%. Don't ever stop, you know? That's what she said to me. Whether you think it's a lie, this, that, and the other, there's video of her saying it on MUTV, and I've got witnesses. So, you know, you can blame her for this. Don't blame me. Don't blame my players. Don't blame my club. Blame Rachel Brown. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel, but she's the one who said, don't ever stop, and I'm never going to stop, and I told her I'll never stop. And as she, when she said, oh, City have really good fans, that's what clicked it even more. And she even knows that it did. City and Liverpool are the rivals. And she, well, the minute she mentioned that, that was it. It was over. It was finished. That's where it was going to work. But, you know, our players are passionate. Our managers are passionate. So, obviously, when, for example, the Millie thing happened and that penalty, everyone lost their head. And started screaming and shouting and Abby came up to the ref and Millie came up to the ref and this one came up to the ref and I'm sure Casey was throwing things about. But then people are like, oh, you're a victim, just get over it. No, because then the ref came and apologised. That made it even worse. Wish he had said nothing. But 
we're always, we're over it now. But at the time, but if you can't be so angry at a ref, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Listen, there was a penalty later on. That was a penalty. Ralph Harris, I don't know on who, but that was a penalty. He didn't give it. Maybe because he realised he'd just given that. But two wrongs don't make a right. The, you know, refs need to improve. Casey's saying, I speak, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Listen, I'll speak for you because that ref was <laughs> mucker, rubbish. But... Listen, I've been speaking for a while, but I just feel like I have to speak my truth. And people, I hope you watch it. I really do. But it's just a response. Please start just being truthful about it. Being truthful. You know, they don't come out every game saying we love the fans for nothing. You know, but it is what it is. They don't come over every game like that. And then shake everyone's hand for nothing. But people will always dislike this badge. And if that's not you, if it's nothing to do with this, if it's to do with this, whatever, United, don't support women's football, don't have a victim mentality. If it's to do with that, come come speak to me. Let's 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 talk about it. Let's not just perpetuate rubbish in my opinion but national newspapers print lies the racism thing was a lie that got printed um because it was found by lee sports village to be lies not lies but it wasn't true you know lee sports village put an unmarked stewards in where alleged racism happened and apparently it was just booing but booing and monkey chance you know, guys, this is me talking with passion and I just feel like I have to say it. I have to just tell a few good things that are going on and about how people actually feel. But keep hope everyone enjoyed my video. If you like what you're seeing, if you want something different, if you want to talk to me, I've said my socials, Natalie underscore 17 on Twitter, Natalie, Nutty Natty B on the Instagram. Always come to me and talk. Let's, let's talk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys.